Setting the right white balance can be crucial to your video. I said can be, right? Let's dive into it. Hey and welcome to my channel. My name is Eric and today we're going to talk about white balance and why it's important. I myself is a Sony shooter and using my a7 III, but this will cross over to any camera. The Sony A3 The Sony A3 The Sony A7 III is a 8-bit depth camera. What that means is that it can only store 8-bit depth of colors and tend to break more easily than a 10-bit color camera when you push the colors too hard. So I'm not gonna go all technical about this, but the higher the bit depth, the higher amount of colors you will store in your video clip. And that will make it way easier in the grade. Even if you have a 10-bit camera, you still want to set the right white balance so you don't get a too cold or too hot uh, image because it's gonna take away so much time for you color correcting that image to be a color accurate one. So that's why it's super important for you to get the white balance set correctly in camera so you don't have to tweak the colors uh, in post and leave more room for your grading purposes. So what is white balance then? The white balance is the way for the camera to determine how white looks like in different color temperatures and make it look more realistic to the eye. Because the eye can always determine what white is in all kinds of different color temperatures, but the camera can't. So therefore you need to set your white balance. Color temperature are measured in Kelvin and reaches from 1000 to 15,000 Kelvin. While 1000 is really hot image from uh, like candlelight for example. And 15,000 are more colder like a clear blue sky or something. So why don't you use auto white balance? Well, auto white balance will try to determine the color temperature all the time during the shoot. So if anything changes, it will shift the tone and it can do so several times during one single clip. And that will make it really, really hard in post. What I would recommend you to do is buy one of these gray cars because they're gonna make it way easier for you to, to set your white balance correctly. And the camera can actually measure the white balance of this gray card and set it to a custom setting that I will show you later. And this one will also double up as a color checker so you can match up other cameras if you have a multiple camera shoot, for example. Setting the white balance manually can be fairly easy as well now that every camera has these presets. So if it's a sunny day, use the sunny day preset. If it's a cloudy day, use the cloudy day preset and so on. And this will get you pretty good results uh, right off the bat. But when you feel more comfortable uh, reading those Kelvin charts and everything, you can dial it in, turn it down. So this will take a bit of practice, but it will get easier every time you do it. So just hang in there. And as a last tip for you, um, this is a bit of a sheet, but you can use auto white balance. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. You can use it to check how the white balance looks like with the auto white balance, and then you can tone it in by yourself. All right, folks, that's all for today's video. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel would be highly appreciated. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.